So we are going to Izanezu, which is a village built on water. It's beautiful. It's a cool place. I mean, I love it. I watched lots of videos on it. And so far, I'm just interested and I'm curious. And I just can't wait to get there. But it's far. It's about eight to nine hours drive from Accra. But I will still go because it's adventurous, you know. And about two to three hours from Takrade. But I'm taking you along. If you are new here, do subscribe to the channel. Show some love to this video by liking it and then sharing the video with other people. I'm just going to get ready and then I'll see you there. So let's go. This is Inzirozo office, yeah. the receptive center. It's very cozy. The place is actually a bit far from where you pay the money. So now we are going to pick the boat or the canoe, right? Is it a canoe or the boat? It's, it's a canoe with Okay, so hi. Motor. Say hi. hi to my subscribers. Hi. So what's your name? I'm Gideon. Okay, so meet Gideon from Inzule Zoo. Whenever you come here, please tell them you want to go with Gideon because he looks like a nice guy, you know. That's the office. Okay, uh, where we just are just coming from? Book and then uh, definitely uh, a tour guide will take you to Inzule Zoo. Okay. So uh, from here to the boat side, uh, you have to walk for um, less than four minutes oh. to get on board. Okay. Where you could receive the boat riders and the boat itself is there and then. They'll take, take you. you. Yeah, you take okay. it Sure. So come along. Hello. So this is Ejate, and he's the one taking us. This is his canoe. So enjoy the trip. let's talk about the price before we get there you pay 70 ghana cities for the boat ride in order to get to inzulezu and then 30 ghana cities to the tour guide who is taking you to inzulezu so as an individual you end up paying about 100 ghana cities yep and if you're a foreigner you still pay 70 cd for the boat ride and then 50 ghana cities to the tour guide making um approximately 120 ghana cities the journey has just started and then now where we are right now the depth of the water is two feet three feet two feet three feet but as we are moving ahead and then it's also increasing and the name of this river too is called river amazon that's the local name of it but in english we say community river and then you have tilapia in it trigger fish in it catfish in it mud fish in it a lot different types and for the animals you have alligators crocodiles snakes and then others but there's for, a crocodile in the river yes oh, wow. there's crocodile in it but for crocodiles and then alligators we have a particular point that you sometimes see them that place is called the jungle area so when you get there and then i will let you know and as for the river this is not this is just a small one very soon we get to the main one the biggest one so when you get there i will let you know you need to use the stick to push the boat it will take us like let's say uh less than four minutes then we use the machine again. Okay. I'm really having fun just sitting on this water, you know, because it's really beautiful. Just a quick tip if you ever decide to go to Inzulezu, don't go alone. Go with a team or a group of people so that you end up paying only 50 CDs or 60 for the boat ride and then for the tour guide. But if you go as an individual, you end up paying 100 Ghana CDs just as I did. Now, where we are putting to is the jungle area. Over here, wild animals are found over here. We have alligators, snakes, crocodiles, sometimes monkeys around, but most unfortunate part is uh, we don't normally see them. The reason is the Islazu people themselves, they kill them, they eat their meat and all that. It's, it gives us a source of meat for them. So 
They unmask themselves. Whenever they hear a little bit of noise, then they decide to go far away. Yeah. That's why normally you don't see them. But if you are lucky, you can see some of them. Okay. And then also, a minute ahead, you will get to the main river, the biggest one. So you should watch out. So I'm touring in Zvezu and you are with me, so I'm here with Gideon as always, so bringing you the juice, you know, it's beautiful, I love how the structure is, hey, wow, that is amazing. <laughs> This is the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. But um, they were having a, a program, so the Benin people. Who are the Benin uh, people? The Benin people, those uh, communities are on the dry land. Okay. The nearby communities. Okay. Uh, uh, all of them came here just to have a church program with the Inglesi people, the Roman Catholic. I mean, the Roman Catholic people. Okay. So uh, they were up. They were about hundred and over. Oh, okay. In that, uh, in that room and then the place sank, it collapsed, but no one got injured. No yeah. one got injured. No mm. one got injured. Okay, so uh, it spoiled everything. The whole structure was um, damaged. Yeah, damaged and then all that. So they have contributed some money to make the pillars a concrete one uh, so that it could be there for about so many years. There wouldn't be any changes of pillars and then all that. All that because yeah. here, when you build a house, uh, every six years you need to change the pillars, it lasts for every six years. Okay. Yeah. okay. people we are all friendly are you from here yeah i'm from here wow you grew up here I'm, i've been here all my life I've wow. never been here. yeah so every avenue like this is one family i mean every line like this is one family okay so all those ones that you pass by is one family one family each and then this is where i belong oh well, you come from this family oh okay let me take a well okay so Gideon comes from this family. What's the name of the family? Is there a name? Ejekulu's house. Ejekulu's house. Oh, okay. So that's Mr. Ejekulu. Oh, people say hi to Mr. Ejekulu. <laughs> so how we manage to build the houses is like, apart from the roofing and the nails, the rest of the materials, you get it deep inside the forest. Mm -hmm. So after you have gotten your materials, you alone cannot build a house. It's too hard for you. So we seek people for help. They all come as one and then step inside the water, deep inside the water. So after uh, a lot of people have gathered to build the houses, five for first we gather the stamps, the pillars. So when you raise it up a little bit, then we dip it inside, just like pounding fufu, chobe, then we are doing it, chobe, then we are doing it. Right after that, we have a very big metal. We used to hit on top of the pillars to make it very firm very stable after that then you build a structure on it but for the pillars every six years we change it and replace it every six years when you see a rotten one you quickly go to the forest you look for a new one you bring it you use the same metal to hit the rotten one away the burden will not collapse okay but, uh, 
it will not get strength as it compares to the other time. Mm -hmm. So when you remove one, you replace it with a new one. But the structure itself lasts over 40 to 50 years. Wow. Yes. 40 to 50 years. Yes. So this is like how many years? This is like, let's say, 26 or something. 26? Yeah. Hey, wow. Is there a school here? Yeah, there's a school. It's far at the end. At the end. Is yeah. it like this? A structure like it's this? It's a structure like this. Okay. Center. and then also a visitor center as well so this is where uh, the history of his lesson will be given to you it will be narrated to you mm -hmm. how there are a lot of lands over there but they, they decided to live on this river whatever it is there will be someone chosen by the elders and the chief over here that person will tell you the history of his lesson okay. so this is the community center mm -hmm. okay so there's someone preparing a bibiju Okay, into hospital be any ha. Into mo yari a mo this is the Almighty Pentecost Church. Okay, so we have to learn the history of Inzulezu. I'm here with Richard, the Information Minister of Inzulezu. So basically, I just want to find out how come they decided to build their houses on water here in Inzulezu. Because, like, I mean, it could have been in Accra, on the land, somewhere, but they decided to do it here. So, how is that? Um, that was a very long um, story, uh, mm -hmm. about 14, 15 century ago. Okay. Um, those who, when, uh, who came to this area, they were living in Mali. On a land called Timbuktu, uh, their, their, their job over there was mining. So there was a time the Senegalese called the Mendis. They came to do business with our forefathers in Mali mm -hmm. during 14th, 15th century. But when they came, I'm um, looking at the idea that they came with. Um, our forefathers rejected the offer because they found out that they don't have any positive idea about their money business. So they rejected the offer. But out of jealousy, they came to wage war against our forefathers in Mali during that period. And during the war, they were killing our forefathers. So our forefathers, they decided to move away um, from that area to a place that they would get their peace of mind. And the reason why they left the land behind was that on their way, they were instructed by their spiritual God, who is in the form of a snail. When they came to this area, this place was the Krika village, before they got married to the Zema women. So after the Nzema language, they decided to change the name instead of Tekirika village to Inzulazo and meaning on water. Okay. So Inzulazo means? On water. On water. Yeah. Okay. So, oh wow. Inzulazo on water. That's nice. So I was just talking to Richard about some of the challenges that they face in this community and what he's saying is just mind-blowing like really can you just tell them from no problem okay. one thing is that we have a school in this community we start from nursery to premises okay we don't have any junior high school in this community and also no clinical hospital but wait so if you get to primary six mm -hmm. how do you go to junior high school i mean you have to early in the morning let's say 6 a.m for instance you have to pack your own car to the new where you take your boat early in the morning that's far yeah one hour journey to that area so after closing time then you paddle back to this village and when it gets to the rainy season for instance and because and we are let's say middle of May to July because we're in the rainy period for us, they have to get a politician bag. So on their way, they have to put their uniforms and their bags and, and, and the books that they can use to learn, put it in the politician bag, pass through the rain to where you took your boat. When they get to and um, where you took your boat, then they'll they just change. Yeah, wow. further their um, school at 
been to have any clinic or hospital. No clinic or, no hospital. Clinic or hospital. So hospital. if you are sick, what happens to you? And what is that we sometimes because he has tourist attraction for it, and when visitors come for it, and we appeal for donation to support the school. So the leftover, we will use them to buy drugs like paracetamol, mm -hmm. fragile and first aid. We have a room and right in the boat. That's the place we we'll store the medicine. So if maybe you if you are complaining of headache or running stomach, mm -hmm. we we'll first we'll first apply the and uh, those and um, um, first aid mm -hmm. drugs to you. Okay. So if critical condition and the community have um a speed boat, a motorized one, um they have to put you in that emergency boat. First of all, take it to the new way to the boat mm -hmm. before it. But I want to find out: Do you have um, an MP or someone that represents you in Parliament? Because no school like i mean there's a school but it's not mm, up to yeah, junior yeah. high school and there's no ho hospital is my issue here no hospital really like you um we have we have an mp um um jomoro we are jomoro. we are part of jomoro jomoro is a district right yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay we are part of jomoro in terms of the challenges they know they know every campaign period they will be coming to this area to campaign and they'll make a lot of promises when you vote for me I have noticed that you don't have any clinic you are facing the issue of this yeah so when you push me i will come ahead when yeah. they go the best is to care but is there electricity yeah we have electricity here and we've got it through uh in the local community all right so i honestly came here to have fun to just look at the place to take videos for my youtube channel and then i mean it was it's all about fun you know but looking at the challenges i really can't ignore it like you know me like i can't ignore it so I don't know how we are going to help them but i don't know if you know any way that we can help them out because really there are mps there are people leaders and nobody are just not doing anything about it so i feel like now it's our responsibility to help them the hospital is my problem now because like if people are dying because no hospital here bro we have to do something about this so i don't know how we are going to help them but if you can support please let's do it okay because we are all Ghanaians, citizens, not spectators.
it's been it's been a day like it's been a long day i had fun shooting the video and i'm sure you also enjoyed watching it and i'll do this again like over and over again so i don't know the next place that you want me to take you to but just let me know below the comment section did you enjoy the video let me know okay and do not subscribe to the channel for amazing content coming from me see you in my next video